Hello everybody, this is Ali Rush again. It's been a while since I've talked to you, but I am jumping and ready to get started now with this subject, the shingles virus. Shingles virus. Shingles is caused by the same virus that causes chickenpox, which is called varicella zoster virus. The first question asked is, do those people who have had chickenpox escape this virus or only the people who have not had chickenpox? If there are any who have not had chickenpox, get this virus. Shingles is a rash of small blisters that wraps around your left or your right torso. Fluid from those blisters cause the shingles to spread. But a person is not infectious before the blisters appear. After they have a crust on them, the person is no longer contagious. Shingles causes great misery to the person who has it, and the person experiences great pain after the rash clears. Shingles is a cluster of fluid-filled blisters. The word shingles comes from the Latin word for belt. Other than appearing on the left or right side of the torso, it appears mostly on the forehead or around one eye. You can cause a person to have chicken pox if you have the virus or the varicell zoster virus. The virus is spread from direct contact with fluid from the blisters of one who has shingles. Shingles is not contagious from one person to another, but don't touch those blisters. Herpes zoster is another name for shingles. It is a, a painful skin rash. It affects older adults and people with weak immune systems mostly. It's a burning or tingling pain and at times feels like you're coming down with the flu. It could lead to life-threatening complications if left untreated. Shingles can at rare times lead to pneumonia, hearing problems, brain inflammation, or death. Pain can continue after the rash clears up. So that means you're not home free of this when the rash clears up. You can still feel the pain of it. The best creams to put on shingles are lidocaine and capsaicin. Capsaicin applied five times a day. Capsaicin is applied five times a day. The shingles, vi shingles virus is quite a contagious illness that produces or causes blisters when touched will transfer the virus to other people. People are not careful enough of shingles so as to not become victims of the shingles virus. It's not often thought of as a virus, but it is exactly that. Believe it or not, it can kill if we are not careful about it. I hope I have given you enough information on this so that you can become comfortably knowledgeable of it and what to do concerning it. Thank you very much. Until next time, people.